The coronavirus pandemic swept almost the entire territory of planet Earth in 2020. COVID-19 divided the human life to before and after. What's happening now in different countries of the world? Did we manage to adapt to the new reality? What is the world like during quarantine? All this in the program Stop COVID. In December 2020, people as expected some of the results of the year and wait for their favorite holidays, but in new realities. Now another not-so-happy date has been added to the list of the holidays. It has been almost a year since humanity lives with COVID-19. Hungary has become one of the first on the path of a pandemic, largely due to the fact that Budapest is a popular destination for tourism. Every year, Hungary and the capital in particular were visited by tens of millions of guests. The first alarms related to COVID-19 began to appear in February, but in early spring the situation took on a complex shape. A logical step was to announce a national quarantine from the end of March. Budapest is a concentration of small businesses, largely focused on tourism, and it has been hit hardest by the pandemic. In order to compensate for the colossal damage caused by COVID-19, the government has proposed a number of measures, in particular tax and bank holidays. In addition, the government recommended to reduce the rental rate by 50%. But there are also obvious beneficiaries, e-commerce and various delivery services. Business growth is calculated here in hundreds of percent. Nimble and ubiquitous delivery people on bicycles, scooters or even on public transport deliver any goods in a matter of minutes. They seem to have filled the entire Budapest. Today, a delivery person is not exclusively a young man under 25. More and more often you can meet people over 40. The tourism business, the service and entertainment sector were mostly affected. It seems to me that the restaurant industry, hotels, gyms suffered greatly. I think everyone who owned small business, all this, little cafes, they closed down and got no help. The restaurant industry fell dramatically following a sharp drop in touristic traffic. Many businesses have closed. By the beginning of summer, the situation in the Republic has stabilized. A number of restrictions are lifted, but by fall the incidence curve begins to grow rapidly. And by November it takes on alarming proportions. The second lockdown is announced in Hungary on November 11. The daily increase in infected people reaches almost 4,000. In total for that period the number of infected people was 120,000. The second lockdown was initially introduced for 30 days, but it's already known it will be extended. On November 8, the number of infected people reached almost 260,000. For a country with a population of about 10 million, the figure is daunting. Accordingly, the measures taken were proportionate. First, the country has introduced a curfew from 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. All types of gatherings are prohibited. Restaurants work only for food delivery. The work of shops and services is limited to 7 p.m. The hotels do not accept tourists. The senior classes of schools and universities are transferred to distance learning and the teaching staff is tested daily. Second, the government is increasing its business aid package. It includes compensation for losses, exemption of employers from paying Social Security contributions. It's dangerous. I have a small business and it's located where there are many people. When I get home, I will have to isolate myself from my family for safety reasons. I think that the second quarantine was a necessity. Without it, the curve would have been even higher.
This year, the Hungarian authorities understandably limited the activities that traditionally precede Christmas. This applies to holiday markets, concerts and other Christmas events. Karachan, that's what Christmas is called in Hungarian, in 2020 will become a purely home holiday. And even then, no more than 10 people are allowed. And yet the spirit of Christmas is present in Budapest, to the delight of children. It is felt through the same Christmas tree bazaars and traditional trams decorated with garlands. Hungarians are optimistic about the future, and in many respects, these hopes are associated with the vaccine. More recently, Hungary announced plans to test the Russian Sputnik V vaccine for safety and efficacy. If the test is a success, the drug will be used to prevent COVID-19. The possibility of producing this vaccine at the Republic's pharmaceutical enterprises is not excluded. The second wave of coronavirus in Europe, which came with the onset of cold weather in most countries, was stronger and longer than the first. The daily increase in new cases has long broken spring records several times. Located in the heart of the continent, Switzerland seems to somehow manage to keep the situation under control. While the closest neighbors, France and Germany, could not do without a second lockdown, the increase in the incidence here after the October outbreak is gradually declining, although it remains high. Now we seem to have fewer infections in recent days, but they said that it's too early to rejoice and that everything can still change. It takes time to see if the measures they have taken are enough. During the second wave, restrictions in Switzerland were really strict, but they still remain much softer than in neighboring states. According to the latest polls, about 40 percent of the country's residents consider the current measures to be adequate, and the same number find them insufficient. Some districts impose additional restrictions. Shops are still open, but um, usually in, uh, in front of every shop they will put a note Put a note says that maximum five or three people can go in the shop at one time. Sorry, it's never monitoring to um, stay at home. You can go out for shopping, for jogging, whatever you want. Just mind the social distance. Um, sometimes we see police checking around, but I never heard people got punished or got a penalty. We are still enjoying the freedom. This year, the Christmas markets in Switzerland, I think, as in all of Europe, have been cancelled, so there will be no gatherings. We really hope that we will be allowed to travel at least. At the moment, we are free to travel to other cities. You can go to the mountains and to the lakes. Therefore, in comparison with France, with other countries, our situation is not so bad. Nevertheless, even without a strict lockdown, most Swiss residents were sent away. The vaccination, which according to official sources will begin in the coming months, most likely will not change the situation much. People over 65 and those who have serious illnesses will be the first to receive the vaccine. The policy in Switzerland is that if an office worker can work from home, then he must work from home. I also work for a pharmaceutical company, but unfortunately we are not developing a vaccine. The company gave us such masks made in Switzerland. They are certified, and there are silver microparticles inside. These masks can be washed and reused up to 60 times, then they must be recycled. Despite cancelled Christmas markets, the Swiss have fewer reasons to be upset than their neighbors, while Germany, Italy and France have already announced they will close their ski resorts for at least a month, Switzerland is not going to do so. This means that its residents can spend their Christmas holidays in their favorite way at the world-famous Alpine resorts.
In Germany, the holiday is already considered stolen by coronavirus. Christmas markets and public events have long been cancelled. In addition, restaurants, gyms, beauty salons and other public places have been closed. In October and November, the number of infections began to grow sharply. The country was forced to take the inevitable step that everyone feared, the introduction of a second lockdown. Since the beginning of November, the so-called soft lockdown has been in effect here. And since mid-December, the measures have been tightened again. Now in Germany, there are over 1,300,000 cases. It affects a lot of people's life as we have travel restrictions. You cannot travel to other countries or even within Germany. So um, even like vacation plans during Christmas time are currently at risk. Um, people normally try to stay home for now, um, not to go out too much, um, only for important um, things like for supermarket, grocery. But besides that, most of the cultural events and uh, society events are now um, cancelled and people try to stay at home as much as possible. The Christmas market on the main square of Nuremberg is one of the oldest in the country and should have already been opened if not for the pandemic. The famous Nuremberg gingerbread cookies, mulled wine, Bavarian sausages are invariable attributes of the holiday for the Germans. But this year, unfortunately, they won't be able to enjoy them. Bavaria is a region with a peak level of infection in the country and the so-called disaster regime was introduced here. In Nuremberg itself, there is a curfew, but a year ago, it looked like this. More than two million people visit this market normally in the time around December and this exists since the 17th century. Now this year, unfortunately due to the coronavirus, the Christmas market was cancelled, which has a huge impact on the cultural life of Nuremberg as well as the whole hotel and tourism industry, which normally um, has this as one of their main season uh, during the year. Definitely a big part of the tradition will be missing and uh, a big part of the tradition that create this nice Christmas feeling um, will, will not exist this year, unfortunately. It's very difficult because I believe that it's the first time since 1958 that the Christmas market is cancelled and it's very difficult for everyone, in particular for the market sellers. There are not many people at the moment. Everyone hoped that the Christmas season sales will be good, that at least some businesses will be open. Now it's very difficult for most people and everyone is very sad. However, some entrepreneurs cannot be denied resourcefulness. In the village of Unterbrunn, near Munich, they managed to open a Christmas market drive-in. Guests could drive up by car, make an order at the entrance, and then pick up their favorite Christmas treats without leaving their car. The visitors liked it, although with the newly tightened measures, even such entertainment is no longer available. And in one of the pastry shops in Frankfurt, they made chocolate Santa Clauses wearing masks. The German authorities strongly discourage travel even within the country now. Hotels only accept business travelers. Restrictions have been introduced on home meetings too. During the lockdown period, no more than five people from two households can get together. Nevertheless, there is still reason for joy. They promise to weaken the restrictions, especially for the holidays. The German government is relaxing this regime so that Christmas can be spent together with the family. In a large family, up to 10 people, not including children under 14 years old. We live in Frankfurt and we are very glad that thanks to this decision we will be able to go to the south of Germany to our family and celebrate Christmas with them, with our parents and brothers and sisters. Christmas food and favorite family traditions are what remain in German homes, despite the pandemic and cancelled fairs. We have in Germany here the so-called Adventskalender. It's, it's a present every day starting from the 1st of December, where you in general give 
presents to children. You open every day in the morning one additional present, and so the children are looking forward to this in the evening. You can you can also extend this tradition, which is in general just for children, also to to your um, girlfriend, to your wife. And, and that's uh, how you proceed step by step, day by day, to until the Christmas Eve. And so you have 24 um, different presents or sweets. Germany has been ready for Christmas for a long time, and if not on the street, but the atmosphere of celebration definitely reigns at homes. This year, of course, much is different, but the most important thing, the holiday will still come and people will celebrate it with the closest ones and relatives.